Um, okay, so first off, I should let, I should just come out straight and say it. Uh, I am, like, extremely awkward. So, in making a, any form of video where I talk to myself in my house and pretend I'm talking to people that I don't know is going to take adjustment because I am awkward enough talking to people I can see, like, and uh, no, because I don't really tend to talk to people I don't know. So yeah, anyway, all that to say, you're going to have to give me time to get over the awkwardness because it's going to take a while. Also, kitty. Here, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Rosie. She will probably be in some of these videos. And then um, my dog, Jenny, will try to stick her nose in because if kitty is getting attention and looking cute and, you know, obviously Jenny, who's right here beside me, will want attention. Um, which she's already trying to do. Um, so anyway, uh, all that out of the way. That was Jenny. Um, hi. Uh, my name is Jacqueline Mears. Um, I just go by Jack most of the time. Um, well, at least around my adoptive family. Uh, I also go by Jackie, but you just call me. I'll just go by Jack here. Easier. <laughs> um, so the... Uh, I thought I would do a video with kind of like an introduction before I get around to doing like the first video of what I have set this up for. That was a weird way to put it. Okay, so my idea for setting this channel up was to share stories on history, like um, ones that aren't as well known. Um, I've loved history my whole life, pretty much, and in school, I had this knack of forgetting all of the important things that were on the test and remembering the weirdest facts. And then, of course, when you're like nine and you tell your parents and grandparents that um, things like, oh yeah, Daniel Boone swam a river in the winter and was crossing a river and ended up on an island in the middle of the river and was freezing to death because he couldn't get fire started. So he spent the night climbing up a tree and sliding down to not die. Um, obviously they're not going to believe you, so you have to go, like, to the source material and, you know, like, hold the book up right there um so yeah that's that was my childhood um it still kind of happens i don't know it's just knowing weird facts it's not really something a lot of people take my word on um but anyway that said um i am currently uh, finishing up my associate's degree in anthropology, and then I will be transferring to get my ma my bachelor's and then my master's degree. I am not becoming an anthropologist. I am actually getting into the field of archaeology, which fits my interest in history. Um, just if you live in the States, I was told, after talking to several archaeologists, it's better to get your degree in anthropology, get you more job options. Um, so that's currently why I'm going that route with the anthropology. Um, so that's added to my study of history. And, um you know, growing random facts, yeah, and just on top of reading books full of random facts. So I thought it would be fun to share those random facts with the world now that I 
will have a degree and hopefully be taken more seriously. Um, so these videos will be me sharing um, not only stories from history but like focusing on people. Some will have been heard of like well-known people but just looking at all the angles or sides of the story so you get to know more about different people in history. Um, uh, so yeah, like the first video I have planned is about Conan Doyle. And I'm sure everyone's heard about him. If you haven't, um, you've probably heard about Sherlock Holmes. And yeah, uh, he's the guy that created him and hated Sherlock. Um, and then I'll be doing um, like less well-known people. Um, Bessie Coleman is one, and yeah. So I, I will um, anything I don't have a knowledge on already that I have previous research on. I do intend to obviously research um, just so that I have all the facts. Also, I love research, so it gives me an extra excuse for it because. I need an extra excuse, I guess. Not really, but it's fun to have an excuse. Um, so I'm going to try and upload every week. We'll see how that goes. Don't hold me to that. That wasn't a promise. It depends how awkward I get. And if some weeks I am extremely awkward, I will be hiding under my bed. And you won't be able to find me. To make me talk. So... And nothing can drag me out. Unless you lure me out with a shiny new book. I'm easily lured by books. I'll have to show you my... I have, um, I have proof that I am easily lured by books. Um, so anyway. That is my plan. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully over time I'll get more comfortable. But again, don't hold me to that. I'm just a very awkward person. I'm in my 30s and that hasn't gone away. So very unlikely to go away. I've just embraced it at this point. Just go with it. Weird and awkward. And it works for me. Um, I look forward to sharing uh, what I have. Uh, yeah. History with you guys. And hopefully you'll enjoy it too. We'll make a tea time history thing or something. I don't know. Before so you have tea with me. And hopefully my wildlife will not um, invade too much or, you know, knock the camera over or do all the other th weird things my wildlife tends to do. So yeah, that's that's it. That's my introduction. That's all you got. All I got. All you're gonna get out of me. I will see you on the first video, which will be up next week. And now that I said it, I have to do it because if I say something like that, I kind of have to do it. So hold me to it.